Okay. Okay, 37 out of 45 students, so eight is missing. So again, welcome everybody. Welcome to Advanced Excel Section 1. Today is 2021, February 22. Uh, Moodle is not working, so there are some issues. So let's just uh, maybe next week we're going to start using Moodle. Okay, so Moodle is the preferred used, I mean, uh, tools for virtual classes like this because if I record a session, it will be easily uploaded there and students can easily watch. Okay, and like uh, when I use Microsoft Teams, if I record this, it's, I'm still going to process it and a lot of things have to be done. Okay, so let's start okay so this is advanced excel so you know i think what are we going to study here uh based on your perception only ah okay advanced excel i know these things we have to put numbers we have to put formula we have to format something like this okay so i think this is very easy uh, easily i'm going to get a here in this class I think that's what all of you are thinking right now. OK, so it's not bad for you to dream about getting an A. OK, especially if you're going to work hard. And when I say work hard, it doesn't mean it's always subjective. When you say I work hard about this, I, I did a lot of things. OK, so I'm just telling you right in front right now okay that sometimes working hard is not enough okay so also it is subjective how hard you're working maybe it's just very easy work for the others so do not convince yourself i'm telling you already right now i did everything i work hard i uh submit all the exercises i did my project but why i did not get a in this class. Okay, Mr. Orven, I did everything. I answered all your questions in the finals, but why I did not get A? Okay, so these are the things that you have to think right now. So everybody wants to, there are many reasons why you join advanced Excel class as your LS core. Maybe you do not have any, okay, but maybe you have a choice you just don't like the other courses okay uh second maybe you like it because you heard that this is a very easy excel is just putting numbers on a spreadsheet putting some formula formatting and that's it i'm gonna get a okay so let's see let's see i just want to wait so maybe also when I did the when I do the lectures, it seems easy because I'm doing the lectures. I'm giving you how to do it. OK, but when you are on your own and trying to analyze the problem, that's where we have. We have this little of a problem. OK, uh, so I want you to think about it right now. So the thing is, I don't want you to come to me at the end of this semester and then you will complain to me why I did not get A. OK, this is a question that always annoys me. OK, why I did not get A. OK, based on previous years and I've been teaching this for almost six years now, maybe five years already advanced Excel. OK, I have some students who got A. OK, I have students who got A. Not many, but I have. For example, in last semester, maybe three to four students out of 98, 98 or 96 students. A, yeah, we're talking about A, that there are also A minus, B plus, B, and so on and so forth. Okay, so what I'm trying to say here, 
okay is that that mentality which the course or the teacher will give you a has to be removed it is you who should get the a okay and how are you going to do that you have to look at the course specification it is uploaded here in our model okay this is our model course specifications advanced excel okay so let me just open that file okay this is a simple understanding on how you will get a you will get a if you uh whoever is sending a message right now who is that muhammad mahamud dr abdullah al-farsi is telling you that he couldn't attend the course because he had an emergency yes mr mahamud mohammed are you his attorney it's fine I, I read the email okay so i'm recording this and i'm going to upload it in moodle and he can watch this later on those who missed this there's no need to say sorry or anything i again it's a responsibility of any student who will miss an exam and um, who will miss a class to understand or to uh, watch the videos of the lectures and understand the topics and work on their own i'm going to go back to that later on okay so this today i'm going to just give all the orientation needed my rules okay and everything you need to understand about advanced excel class or course okay so where am i when i was uh, uh interrupted i forgot already model yeah model okay uh course specification yes okay so the assessment and the weightage is that I'm going to give you activities and assignment, exercises, meaning assignments, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, that's going to be 25% of your grades. Final project is also 25% and the final exam is 50%. Okay, is there anybody who can tell me how will you get A in this class? Hard topic. I want anybody from here senior student those who are in third year or fourth year of uh, their uh, level four level three in the bachelor how are you going to get a okay nobody wants to talk i'm going to call somebody miss anud aljabri are you here Anud Al Jabri. Okay, she's not here. Next, Mohammed Al Habsi, sixteen zero one seven eight. Mohammed Al Habsi, are you here, Mr. Mohammed Al Habsi? Okay, so another silent. Saud Al Busaidi. Saud Al Busaidi. No, I don't want you to type. I want you to talk. Hello, sir. Hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Of course, if you want to get yes, a. tell me. My question is Do you know how to get an A in any course? Of course. Of course. How? By attending, by attending the classes and doing all the requirements, as in the, uh, the assignments and the project, and doing well in the final, of course. Mm, 
You told me something that's again subjective. Give me something that is objective, as in we will not question about the idea. Okay, it should be understood clearly. How will you get A? By putting hard work, of course. Again, that is subjective. I told you hard work is subjective. What is hard work with you maybe is easy work for me. Yeah. I need something that is quantifiable, something that you can measure. Understand the, uh, understanding the rules of Excel. Mm, I think we're not understanding each other. We cannot understand each other right now. I'm asking right now you're seeing an assessment okay of yeah. what i'm going to give here i told you activities and exercises 25 percent of your grade final project is 25 percent of your grade and final exam is 50 percent of your grade how are you going to get a with me with this kind of assessment achieving all of these uh, requirements <laughs> with the uh, full grade what else Exercises 25 out of 25. And what, how much? This is what I'm asking you. Hmm. How much do you need? Out About of 100, to get an A, how much do you need? Around 85 plus. An A, maybe that's A minus. Who knows how yeah. much or, uh, yeah. What's the number equivalent to grade of A in Geotech? Anybody? That's basically my question. So thank you very much for participating. Huh? You're welcome. That's up. those who are still young at Geotech. So Muntaser Al-Hashmi, can you tell me? Sir Al Hashmi, do you know how much do you need out of 100 to get A? Out of 100% of your grades. Sir, I need you to talk. I don't want you to type. Yes. Okay, listen, everybody, yeah. Huh? You are 45 in this class, okay? And I want you to talk whenever I'm asking because I'm talking, I'm not typing. If I ask you a question while in in written, you uh, answered me written also. If I ask you verbally, so answer me verbally also. I think it's not difficult to turn on the microphone and say something, right? So again, Mr. Muntasar Al-Hashmi, tell me. 90. 90. Okay, so how about 91? Will you get A also if it is 91? 90 plus. 90 until 100 is going to be A. Yes. How about A minus? Do you remember? 85. Maybe 87. 87, 88, 89, something like this. Okay, I don't memorize it. Okay, but anyway. That's the whole idea. Thank you very much, Mr. Montesel. Al-Hashmi. Everybody, listen to me. To get an A, you get you need 90 out of 100. Okay? Out of the assessment, you can see 25% activities and exercises, final project, 25%. Okay? So I'm telling you right now, activities and the final project, these are all easy. When I say easy, you will easily get a grade of 20. Uh, I mean, if the exercise is like out of 10, as long as you do it as, and it uh, it is in the uh, time, okay, and nothing is missing, okay, the exercises, then you will get 10 easily, okay? Uh, uh, so what I'm saying is that Maybe you will easily get 25%. Maybe, uh, it depends on you. That's why this is subjective, how hard your work is. Okay? 
but it depends on you. Final project also, 25%. So you got already, let's say, easily you got 50% because that's the initial. Those are the initial assessment, activities, exercise, project. Then comes final exam out of 50%. Okay, so maybe the items is 100 items. Okay, 100 marks. Okay, so in this to get A, you need 40%, isn't it? Okay, so 25, 25, that's 50 plus 40%. That is... 40 out of 50 percent, 40 percent out of 50, 50 percent. So that means if the items is 100 items or the score is 100 total in the final exam, you need 80, okay, out of 100 to get an A. This is the simplest explanation that I can give you, okay? Because again, I'm really annoyed of students who will ask me that question, why I did not get A, okay? That, why I did not, why I did not get A. Six words. Okay, because you did not get A, because you did not achieve 90. As simple as that, 90% out of 100%. You cannot tell me, Mr. Orban, why I did not get A. I work hard on this. I did all your exercises. I did all your project. I answered all your exam in the final exam. All your questions in the final exam. So again, it does not guarantee that you will get A if you do that only. So the thing is numbers. If you get 90 out of 100, you will get A. Okay? Because right now I'm tired of answering questions like that. Okay, I, I don't want to answer students like Especially if they tell me, Mr. Orvin, uh, Excel is very easy for me. Why I did not get A? Okay, so that's the thing. That's the thing about this. We have to put it in numbers. That's why there are exercises. That's why there are assessments, exams, quizzes. So in your other courses, maybe you have quizzes. But for me, I only give this exercise, project, final exam final exam on campus by the way please prepare for that on the computer laboratory you have to be here to do the exam okay so for that do you have any question until here i'm going to discuss some more my rules my regulation okay so but i want you to ask question if you have right now on that concept on how you are going to get your grade. Okay, so I saw the list. Some of you are GU science, computer science, process engineering, and then and, but most of you, I think, is in the UPAD, Urban Planning and Architectural Design, some IBSM again. Uh, okay, so I hope this will not clash on your other cl classes or courses. Okay, because again, it is your responsibility if you miss my class. Okay, so there is a, an exercise that I gave, okay, on that class only, okay, whoever attended that class is the one who can do the exercises, that exercise, I mean, that day I gave an exercise, the one who attended are the one who can do the exercises, the exercise, that exercise only, I will not tell you when, okay, but, uh, uh, those who were absent, I did not allow them to take or do the exercise. So that means they did not get that score. 
Okay, so again, responsibility. You will be absent. It's your responsibility, whatever you will lose in that course or in that class. Do you understand? Do you have a question on that concept? We are not going to check attendance. Yes, we are not going to check attendance, but I'm telling you it's responsibility. You will not attend that class. If you miss something, class, I cannot give you whatever you missed. OK, so but of course, if it is less the lessons or the exercises, it will be available for all. But if it is an exercise that is intended that I say, OK, that that is only allowed for those who are in the class. And I will see the attendance, OK? And I will mark it later on. Whoever is absent will not be accepted. Only one exercise, OK? So that's why, again, the idea of that is responsibility. You absent, it's your responsibility if you lose the mark. No, I will not notify you, Saud, if there is an exercise that will be only done in that class only. Again, responsibility, sir. So what's the use? Okay, what's the use, sir? Can you tell me what's the use? Why will I announce it before? So that you will be present next uh, on that class and then the rest you will be absent? Mr. Mohammed Mahmoud, the final exam is on paper, right? No, it's on Excel. Our class is Excel. So you will use computer, sir. Not paper. Okay. So again, let's go back to that. I want that to be clear, huh? There will be a meeting, there will be a class wherein I will give an exercise and only students who are present can do the exercise. Okay, so how about this? Those who are really excused, there are two things that you can give. It's either you can give a medical excuse to if there will be accident, an ROP report, three, if you will be absent, you have to notify me in advance. Okay, you are the one who will send me an email. Mr. Orven, I will be absent next meeting this coming Monday, 29 of February, 2020-21, because I have a appointment uh, to a doctor. Or I cannot be present because what else is our valid reasons? I have a family, uh, what they call this? I don't want to say emergency. I want to say important matters or something like this. Okay, that I can accept because you cannot do that every week. Okay, you cannot say, Mr. Orvin, I will be absent next this coming Monday because of this and then again the following week Mr. Oven I can I will be absent the following week because of this okay you do that of course I think that's not accepted okay the only time that you will be absent and it must be excused you should write an email in advance okay so that we ha will have an evidence that you are absent because you send me an email and you notify me already so if you do that every week, just to be safe, of course, I will notice that, right? Simple as that. So for example, uh, by April 3, I made this class and I gave that exercise. If before that you send me an email and you notify me and I think that is valid, I will give you a chance. Okay, but for the rest, who were absent and you did not notify me, you just absent, you were just absent, then you will lose that mark, okay? But I will just do that in one exercise, by the way. Don't 
Don't worry. I will just do that in one exercise. Okay? So rules, responsibility. There is no attendance, but it is your responsibility if you will be absent without an excuse. You will not be here with me without an excuse. It's up to you. If I give an exercise that day or that time that is recorded and only those who were present will be allowed to do it, then again, it's your responsibility, not mine. Okay? So I hope that is clear. Thank you very much. Let's go to the course specification. Uh, so, Excel is like this. Upon a successful completion of this course, a student should be able to work with functions and formulas, understand and use absolute and relative addressing. Some of this actually we done, uh, if you were my student in uh, Foundation IC3, uh, should have taught you some of this. Okay, then we will go create and design common charts as well as the advanced type. Okay, filtering and sorting, advanced also, there will be an advanced type there. Then the rest will be advanced uh, meaning topics, some average, if some if, mean, median, mode, uh, what else, conditional formatting, number formatting, manipulating text, uh, pivot table, pivot chart, if functions, and collaboration of spreadsheets. Okay, so these are the topics. Okay. Okay, so again, some of the students will, their idea of advanced Excel, that's why they registered. Okay, because advanced Excel is easy. That they think that I will get an A here because I know how to use Excel or I know IT, I know computers, okay? So, but this is not only the thing about Excel. Excel is mathematics. Okay, Excel is mathematics, not only uh, what they call this, the tool, the spreadsheet. Because there is functions and formulas, with the formula, it's already mathematics. So it is not uh, as easy as typing words, typing data, and then that's it. It's not as easy as following uh, uh, what they call this, just arranging some data or words there or formatting, as I said already, formatting. Huh? Uh, but again, it's analysis because I will give you questions that have instructions. All you have to do is to um, uh, perform those tasks, okay? And then once uh, you know already the idea, the logic, then that's the time you can get a function and a formula. Without that, I think you will be lost. So... Think about that again. You have to think about this idea. Excel is not only an application or a computer application, a software. It is also mathematics. Okay, it was designed. Spreadsheet was designed to solve. Okay, uh, very complicated formulas easily. Okay. So this is what you are going to learn here in my class. So do you have any question? Okay. Now, if you will just, this is the good news about here at Geotech. Uh, I, I mean, in my class, so because I started with like hard explanation or hard uh, words. Okay, warning with you and so on and so forth. But I'll give you a very, very good news about advanced Excel. It is difficult to get A. I already told you that. I already established that because it's mathematics. It's not too difficult, but it's difficult. Okay, I cannot tell that I'm going to frank with, to be honest with you. Uh, if your your mathematics skill is just average, 
it will be difficult for you to get A. But if your mathematics skills is really high, okay, and you have a, a very good understanding of mathematics and analysis, then A is going to be easy with you. However, the good news about everybody, it's easy to pass in this course, okay? You can see already in the assessments, you only have activities and exercises, 25%, 25%. And if you get this 25% and 25%, the requirements to pass the court is just 50%. However, you need to do a final exam. You need to sit there. If you already got 50% of the activities, exercises, and the project, if you already got that, I mean the total of perfect, for exercise and the project, perfect score, that's already 50%. That guarantees you already of passing. However, you still cannot pass if you will not sit on the final exam. If you will be absent and you will not attend there, so still you're not going to pass. So all you have to do, do all your exercises, activities, final project, try your best, okay? Or work harder. Now work harder there and then go and answer your final exam. If you will get at least 10 out of, uh, let's say, uh, 100 in the final exam, that's a failure in the final exam, but overall, your grade will be passed because you got already the 50% in the activities, exercises, and project. Is that clear? Okay, so again, you just need to do all your exercises and the final project. It's easy for you to pass. Final exam is now the key on what your grade will, grade will be. Will you get D? Will you get C? C plus, B, B minus, B plus, and so on. A, A minus, so something like this. That final exam is your swing okay on what grade you will land on okay so depending on your final exam uh you will have your grade okay so that's the decision maker of what grade you would receive here okay now students who are not submitting activities exercise and project even if you come for the final exam and even if you unless you will make it perfect the final exam, then maybe you will pass, okay? But if you're not passing activities, exercises, you did not pass anything at all, a final project, nothing, both zero, okay? And then you appear for the final exam and you get like 40 out of 50, you will not pass, okay? So I think you know how to compute. So that's how easy is th this is. So for example, also you did not do your activities, exercises, final project, and on the day of the final exam, you are excused. Let's say you are excused. You have medical excuse, okay? So we will check that in the board of examiner and board of examiner will decide if you will be allowed to do again the exam, okay? The final exam. It's not in my hand. I will just give the result to them, if they found out, no, this student did not do anything in exercise, final project, and also he missed the final exam, even if it is excuse, I'm sorry, I think they will say you have to repeat the course. Okay, so that's why the assessments is here, because it's very important for you to follow from the start until the end. Okay. Okay, any more question? Do you have a question? So let's see how many are you right now. Okay, so lastly, uh, aside from the responsibility, that's my rule, your responsibility, whatever you're going to do here. Okay, second, I am a teacher who is very strict in regards to instructions. Okay, instructions is very important to me. If you will not follow instructions, expect that I will not accept, okay, your 
work, let's say the project, whatever instruction, I will give it to you there. If you will not follow, I'm sorry, I will not accept. But I'll give you a chance to rectify, to change, okay? But at the end, at the deadline, still you did not follow my instructions, kalas. In the exams as well, very important, you have to follow instructions, okay? Anybody here who doesn't understand what instructions are? Raise your hand. You know how to raise your hand in Microsoft Teams, right? So I have you do. Okay. Uh, there was a question. Let's see. Conversation. Is the final project will be a teamwork? Hajar Al Hashmi. I'm still thinking about that. Before it was a teamwork. Okay, but right now I have a second thought. Or uh, yeah. Right now, I am still evaluating if I will allow you to do a group project. Okay, or it will be individual. So let me see. I'm also considering if I will replace the project with an exam also. Okay, so just give me some time to think about that. Maybe within the next two weeks, I will have a final say. Okay, but for now, let's hang on to this question, Hajir. You tell me again later on if I forgot to answer this question. Any more question? Any more question? Okay, so our class will still be on Moodle. Officially, it will be on Moodle. It will not be on Microsoft Teams, okay? So right now, there's just some problem. They will fix it and for sure or Hopefully next week it will be fixed. Okay. Do I have uh, new students here? Like only started last semester. He, they did not do foundation. Mohamed Mahamud, you're a direct entry student. Sayed Abbas, are you? Maria Malkindi, you're all uh, who, uh, direct entry, you did not do foundation. The three of you. Okay. So, anyway, why I ask? Because maybe you don't know me. I am Mr. Orvin. Uh, I'm teaching IT at the foundation. Okay, and also teaching advanced Excel for the bachelor. So nice to, to meet you. For the others, maybe you know me already from last year. At least we met in the first semester. You are seeing me last year, maybe in the first semester. And then the pandemic, pandemic hits and we are all in the virtual classes, online classes. So there's no chance. So at least some of you saw me. Ah uh, yes, yes, I all yeah, I do I did the direct entry exam. So Sayed Abbas, Mariam Alkindi, Mohammed Mahmoud. You saw me there. Okay, so is there any question right now? So all the materials that I'm going to send will be on Moodle. Okay, so if I give you an advanced uh, uh, assignment or something or something to watch a video, a lesson video, then it will be on Moodle. Okay, anyway, the communication, our communication will be through email. Okay, if I have an announcement, it will be through email. Uh, I'm hmm, wait. I'm thinking if our formal communication is through Geotech email Outlook.
I'm thinking if we're going to do or create a group in FS team so that we have a Okay, let's have a uh, Paul. Would you like to have a group in MS Teams or would you like to have a group in Microsoft? I know in WhatsApp. Let me see your answers. WhatsApp of my or Microsoft Teams. So this is informal communication. Alal Jabri says MS Teams. So one. Loai said WhatsApp. One, two, three, four. Versus one. So I only have five students. Let me see if I can create a poll. No, nothing here. No. Hana Z Microsoft Teams, Kadija MS Teams, Zaina WhatsApp, Osama. Okay, so there are a lot who wants WhatsApp, but I have a question. For those who answer MS Teams, Hana al Roseki, for example, why do you want MS Teams instead of WhatsApp? Is there a personal reason? Because I don't want to force something, huh? Tell me why MS Teams are your choice. Khadija Omar. And Hanna Al Roseki, Faisal Al Balushi, can you tell me why? Teams. Yes, Mister, I can tell you. Yes, tell me. Uh, because uh, it's uh, more uh, formal, and we use WhatsApp for time for friends and whatever. But uh, Teams, I think, just for studying. Yeah, but I understand that I told you already our formal is Microsoft Outlook, the email. OK, and the Moodle. What I'm saying is informal. Why do we need an informal type of communication instead of uh, the fastest way to reach you? For example, I have an announcement. Uh, the fastest way is that I will not, if it is Microsoft Teams, then the disadvantage I have to open my laptop and uh, look for your names. And, and also if it is Outlook, it's the same. I need to open my laptop and send you something, uh, emails and so on and so forth. What I'm trying to say is why I'm asking if what informal communication we can have. Microsoft Teams, uh anyway so anyway if i start thank you for the answer yeah okay thank you for the answer as you as as you said uh the first way is whatsapp uh, because whatsapp in our phone not the team team and uh, you should open the laptop and what as you said okay thank you anal roseki ah okay so you change your mind who else who said MS Teams? Khadija Omar, what's the reason? Now I'm just asking the reason, maybe you are not using WhatsApp, okay? Is there anybody here who's not using WhatsApp?
Okay. So the reason why I want that kind of communication, as I said, the only reason is just fast communication from me to you. Okay. I will not allow anything there that is uh, what they call this. Uh, something that will damage <laughs> others. Okay. I don't like Arabic. Uh, messages there. Okay, if you want to send message in Arabic to another person, do it in another message. Send them privately. Okay, I want to read all the content there. I don't like any content or messages there that is inappropriate. Okay, uh, inappropriate means something that is not worth reading. Okay, only our business in that WhatsApp group will be just to communicate my announcement. For example, you have a very quick question like, Mr. Orvin, uh, submission of this uh, project, where will we submit? I forgot already, I cannot access the video because it's not working from my side. Please, can you send me again? Uh, so, so these are the things that you have, you can ask question, but if that is just a joke, something like a video that you want to share, you're selling something, please do not do that there. Okay, I will not allow. Okay, so only a communication, the fastest way to communicate because sometimes opening the laptop and opening the Outlook will be very, will take time. So I want just that WhatsApp group. Okay, so for now, Let's leave it. I don't have any message yet. We will create that WhatsApp group later on. Uh, how to add somebody. You are all somewhat friends with each other. Then we will see who else needed to be added. You just need to ask the other classmate or you ask me to be added and so on and so forth. Okay. Uh, Yeah, okay, I will, I will, inshallah. Okay, later on. Another thing is that you know my mobile numbers, correct? It's always in my email. If, if you don't know how to find it, it's in my email, it's in my signature. Uh, what I'm trying to say, I'm going to say is that it's okay for you to send private message with me uh, when you want you, you don't want to ask that in that group, it's okay also. But always introduce yourself and tell me a little bit of a background. Okay. Even in your emails, in the Outlook emails, if you want to say ask question and inquire, please specify because Mr. Orven, I am uh, Hashemiya Al-Ajmi. I am from your Advanced Excel Section 1 this, ter this semester. Uh, my question is like this, okay? If there is some background story on your question, please inform that also. Because it's difficult to answer a question. Mr. Orven, can you uh, revert my exercise because you're going to submit it through Moodle and if you submit it you cannot change it anymore so you have to ask me to revert it back to drafts okay uh, so if you revert if I revert it back to drafts then I need to know what section are you what are we talking about because I also have IC3 uh, and then maybe they're also doing Excel so I'm going to be confused Okay, so please, if you're going to send me an email, a question, try to give a background, okay? Sp specific details. Learn how to commun communicate properly because we just don't. Mr. Orban, can you, this is what usually is the bad, an example of a bad email, huh? no subject at all, no subject, that subject is blank, so I don't know. I don't have an idea. Second, Mr. Orvin, can you revert back 
my exercise one to drafts, period, send, class. I read it. It came from you. I don't know what happened. I don't know you. We have how many students? Almost 100 students in Excel. It's difficult to find, really. Okay. Uh, you have to consider also that I really have to budget my time, especially you know my job in foundation. I'm always dealing with registration, timetable, students, and so on. Okay. Uh, Mohammed, Mr. Do we have section one and two, or are we all gonna attend twice a week? You are just going to attend uh, every Monday. Our class is always two hours a week only, every Monday only. Okay, clear? Any more question? Again, our class is always Monday, ah, uh, three to five. Okay. Mohammed, no class on Wednesday, yes. That's the color of my. OK, so I will stop recording now. Any questions? If you have, you can ask still, but it will not be recorded.